My friends, today is a sad day. I have some sad news to impart. It seems the world's first vagina museum has had to close. There, there are no words. Yes, my friends, I have to admit when I first came across the story of the impending closure of the world's first vagina museum, my initial thoughts were, there's a vagina museum? Uh, but then my second thought was, really, there's a vagina museum? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely, there is. Uh, well, or at least there was. Um, or maybe it will. There will be again. So let's let's not let's not lose hope uh, completely. Uh, this worthy institution may uh, may only be closed temporarily, as it sorts out its uh, its its uh, property accommodation issues. Uh, I know you, you're you're dying to get into the meat and bones of this story. So uh, without further ado, let's hop on over to uh, time out. Time Out magazine, um, where we have uh, fr from um, Leonie Cooper, uh, farewell to Fanny's. The Vagina Museum is is closing down. Uh, the gynecological gallery had been at its Bethnal Green site for less than less than a year. Um, okay, let's get into this. Some sad news, indeed. Uh, we're all gutted. I'm sure you share um, my distress at this um, news. Um, very sad day. Uh, some sad news, the Vagina Museum, the very first of its kind in the world, uh, is closing down, um, says Leone. The Bethnal Green-based gallery, which is dedicated to all things gynaecological, uh, will be leaving its space in Victoria Park Square this week. The museum had set up a shop, had set up shop under a property guardianship scheme. Uh, meaning that the founders were aware that they could be asked to leave at any time. Uh, there's some lad cooking something. So nothing to do with vaginas there. Duck. Oh, some chopped up duck. Tasty. Uh, nothing to do with vaginas there. Also tasty. As a property... Sorry. Edit that out. Okay, as a property guardianship, we have... Oh, this is from um, the, the uh, from Leone. Uh, oh, no. She's quoting the vagina... Pe pe um, I suppose the um, proprietor's proprietoresses. Uh, I don't know. That, that does look a bit tasty there, actually. A bit uh, as, a as a property guardianship, we have always been aware that we may be asked to leave at very short notice. Explain the museum on Instagram. Uh, again, from the museum, we're disappointed it has come so soon. Enter a creative hub that shares a space with the museum has also been asked to leave. So they're basically turfing everybody out, not just the vagina people. Uh, everybody who was in the building, I assume, just got the same letter. Listen, we'd rather you weren't here by Friday. Buzz off. Uh, the Free Museum. Oh, it's free. Uh, the Free Museum is now seeking new premises. Uh, before moving to Bethnal Green, the museum was based in Camden Market. What was it, a stall or something? Uh, it opened in 2019 following a crowdfunding campaign which raised £50,000. That's... That's not bad. Uh, obviously, a lot of uh, people interested in vaginas out there and willing to um, willing to stump up a few bob, uh, as as well as pop up events at the Green Man Festival, the Royal Institution, Feminist Library, and the Freud Museum. All right, fair enough. This, it seems this whatever stall they had going was popping up uh, all over the place. Uh, Florence Schechter, founder founded the museum after discovering Iceland's long-running Phallological Museum. That's a mouthful. Uh, okay. Uh, which has a collection of more than 280 penises. <laughs> well, and there's another thing I didn't know. You see, this, this you come here to learn. We come here to learn. Uh, you can never stop learning, I always say. Uh, and I certainly didn't know that there was a, a vagina museum. And now I'm learning um, through this in-depth research that there's a, a phallological museum, which has... Was that real penises? 
280, what is it? Is it like representation? Is it paintings? Drawings? Is it, is it sculpt? Sculptors? Um, um, statues? Statuesque things? Is it, uh, or are they real? Is, I don't know. Might do might do a bit of research on that later. Haram! Sorry, going back to the vagina woman. Um, her aim for the museum was to, to erase the stigma uh, around the body and gynecological anatomy. Uh, in its 10 months, it's only 10 months there, uh, the museum has hosted exhibitions such as, uh, quote, periods, a brief history. A brief history, all right. I think periods have been going on for a, for a while. I, um, but uh, brief history is a good start. Now, over to the BBC. Um... Uh, the BBC, what have we got? The BBC, of course, always at the forefront of breaking news and the important stories that matter most uh, to you and I. Uh, BBC says here, world's first vagina uh, museum to close uh, as property scheme ends. There's a picture there. You see all that? Yeah. You see all that, lads? Yeah. Mm. A lot of luck going on there in the vagina museum. Um all right, uh, this is for Jess Warren uh, at the BBC. The world's first vagina museum is closing this week after being asked to, to buzz off by, who I assume, whoever owned the property. Uh, it opened in Bettina Green last year, uh, and, it's, and having moved from, from a stall in Camden Market or a pop-up shop or some kind of booth or something, um, maybe it was in a tent, you would know, oh, Camden Market. I'm not very familiar with it, but I know markets, uh, not usually where you find the museum. Usually people are selling tat. <laughs> Cheap stuff, knockoff gear and stuff. That's not all markets. Not all markets. Hashtag not all markets. Uh, it was it was using the space uh, in Victoria Park Square alongside uh, entertainment venue Enter uh, under a property guardianship scheme, which uh, essentially was they probably given them the place for 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 tuppence halfpenny on the basis that look uh, at any given time and any given day we might just tell you to feck off. So. If you're okay with that, work away. And they said, yeah, grand. It's better than a stall at Camden Market, so we'll take it. Um, a spokesman said, a uh, spokesperson, sorry, spokesman. How, how absolutely misogynistic of me. A spokesperson said it was a sa- it was sad news it had to close so soon and appealed uh, for help finding a new premises. Well, if you raised 50 grand... 50 fifty thousand pounds for your last fundraiser I, i'd say you probably there's obviously a lot of interest in vaginas uh, generally speaking uh, i i know i i no i won't it, anyway it, there is a lot of interest and it's a wordy subject and it needs to be uh, anyway the free museum which aimed to spread knowledge and raise awareness uh, we're going on with the bbc here with jess uh, awareness of gynecological anatomy and health saw more than 40,000 visitors uh, during the 10 months uh, it was open in East London. That's a lot of visitors. I wasn't one myself, but I don't live in London. I don't know, maybe if I was li- living there, I, I might have. I might have just popped in. Just, it's free anyway, uh, you know, on a day that you weren't busy. Uh, or you just happened to be in the area doing a sh- bit of shopping or picking somebody up, collecting something or whatever. You might pop in just to say, you know... I, I, I like museums in general. I think they're great places to go and you learn a lot from them and I, I assume this place is no different. Uh, under the guardianship scheme, it was looking uh, after the building, which would otherwise have been left empty. Right, so that's, wh- that's what the whole uh, guardianship scheme uh, it means. So you, you probably have... Uh, a company or person or or, or or whatever they own this building which is uh, well it's it's empty there's nothing in it and they don't really know what to do with it or, or maybe they're waiting for some kind of planning thing to go through uh, so rather than leave the thing vacant and empty uh, they'll, they'll just rather have somebody in there just just keeping a bit of heat in the place uh, and, and and so the squatters mo- don't move in and, and ne'er do wells in general and, and wreck the place so I think that's the deal. You can use it. You're not going to be here forever. And when we need, when we figure out what we're going to do with it or what we can do with it or some planning application comes through, you're going to have to buzz off. I think that was the way it was uh, It was working. It, which is fair enough. Everybody's getting something out of that. Um, 
Uh, yeah, oh, as a property guardianship, we've always been aware, says, uh, says this woman. I assume that's the woman there. She must be the Johnny Ross. She must be the boss uh, of the thing. Is she? Yes, Florence Schechter. Uh, as a property of guardianship, we have also we've always been aware we may be asked to leave a short notice, and yeah, you know we're disappointed that this notice vacate has come so soon. They only got eight or nine months out of it, and they, they had to go. But you look, that's that's the way uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, she knew what she was taking on, and she was probably glad glad to get such a, a you know a kind of a a good uh, city address for her project as opposed to a stall in the market. Uh, it, be it began in 2017 by hosting pop-up exhibitions before opening in Camden Market in 2019 uh, with the exhibition Muff Busters. Uh, that's... that's um, Well, that's a, that's, that's a name to conjure with. Muff Busters, yeah. Muff bu uh, I think it's a kind of a play on Myth Busters, but you know. Yeah, I get it. Uh, vagina myths and how to fight them. Well, good. Uh, last year when it moved to Bethnal Green, it, it hosted the ex exhibitions Periods, A Brief History, and From A to V, which looked at gynecological anatomy and activism. Is there gy gynecological activism? M must be. Um, in our time, this is from the Miss Florence Schechter, Ms. Miss, whatever. Uh, she, she. Um, in our time in Bretnell Green, we've once again demonstrated just how much the world needs and wants a vagina museum. Uh, a spokesperson added, uh, "The museum will continue to operate online." as the team search uh, for a new home. So it's not just Florence, she's got a whole team of, of vagina experts uh, on the case and they're doing great work. Um, okay, and I think they will find somewhere else. I might have to go back to Stall at Bethnal Green or Camden Market for a while, but sure, I think the, the, the ball the ball's very much in play now and I think they've probably gained something of a following and something of a bit of kudos in vagina circles and and in museum circles quite possibly and uh, i think they'll they'll find somewhere else somebody will say listen we we could we could we, we want to help and we we need this because the world needs a vagina museum if not more than one and uh, they'll they'll come up with a property or a shed or something for her staff appealed for donations of course they did because we need money to to fund this great work uh, they appealed for donations and help finding a new premises adding uh, they could transform an empty space into a thriving heart of the community yes for 40,000 visitors i mean that's no small small number of people trafficking in and out um, what their reasoning uh, was for visiting the site was maybe purely gynecological, or, or maybe it could have been a bunch of bunch of um, frisky lads just looking for for uh, something else. I don't know. I don't know. Forty thousand people is a lot of people. It's a lot of traffic, and yes, that's that's a lot of to and to and and froing from any property. So they'd certainly inject life into any area. Um, and it's all it's all in in a worthy endeavor uh, we've made quote we've made it through a pandemic and a period of temporary homelessness before uh, with you together we can make it through this too the spokesman added with you as in you and me potential donators uh, the museum is open to visitors uh, from 10 a.m uh, till 8 p.m uh, until wednesday uh, so basically it's it's it's, it's um yeah, it's, it's, it's all done and dusted. Uh, they had to go. Uh, the time uh, ran out. The clock ran out for the for the fan, uh, for the vagina museum. Uh, so a disappointment all round. And I'm sure you uh, out there share my disappointment because this uh, we, the world needs something like this. And 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 uh, there there should be a space. There should be a place uh, where this can be explored. Um, where such themes uh, can be can be you, it's an educational thing as much as anything else like every museum uh, so what do you think of that I look I have to admit I was I was surprised I saw I saw it popping up I, I read into it and I thought wow yes and 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 then leading on from the vagina museum I've later learned that there's a, a, a penis museum somewhere in Iceland with what sounds like a hell of a lot of penises uh, on view however they manage that but uh, all good now uh, so do not lose heart do not get too uh, downcast and disconcerted because I 
fully believe and I'm fully confident that the uh, Vagina Museum, the Vagina Museum will ride again.